For thousands of years, humans have bred horses in much the same gradual way nature does. But soon, they could actually be designed in the lab, along with other livestock, plants, and even humans. Because a new technology has made editing the genome almost as easy as using a word processor. Genes are made of DNA, long strings of four chemicals best known by their initials, A, G, C, and T. Together, they form the basis of all life on Earth. This new genome editing technique is so much faster, easier, and more accurate than anything that's come before that it's creating a new paradigm for biological research. It's called CRISPR, which is short for Clustered, Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. Here's how it works. Scientists program a guide RNA on a protein called Cas9 with the address of the targeted gene. The guide RNA directs the Cas9 protein to cut both DNA strands precisely at the correct spot like a molecular scalpel. A new section of DNA is added to the cell and edited into the original DNA sequence, which now incorporates the characteristics of both sequences. Biochemist Jennifer Doudna was one of the co-discoverers of the CRISPR technology. It's going to enable a lot of science to be done that was impossible to do in the past. The CRISPR technology is so precise that it can actually edit DNA down to a single letter. And multiple edits can be made at once. Changes in a genome that may previously have taken centuries can now be made in just a short time. This game-changing technology is one of the most powerful in the entire history of science, perhaps comparable to the splitting of the atom. But, like that historic event, the development of easy, cheap, and convenient genome editing may also bring a new and sobering responsibility. One of the roles that we as scientists need to play is to really communicate the power of this technology and how we can be responsible. Do we know enough about the human genome to understand the impact of making changes to it in a developing embryo? In fact, the human genome has more than 20,000 genes many of which we do not understand at all. Doudna has been a cautionary voice, but she is also excited about the possibility of solving big problems. I think most people would feel that genome editing in adults is, or at least might be, for some applications, a very appropriate technology. It might be uh, analogous to taking a pill for treating cancer or some other disease. Could we begin to treat previously incurable diseases like sickle cell anemia or cystic fibrosis and do it inexpensively? I like to call it democratizing technology. The CRISPR revolution is already happening in research labs worldwide. For better or worse, every life on Earth will soon be affected by our ability to reprogram the software of life. <laughs>